Hey, so this is part one of our My Notes application building series. Um, in part zero, we just created a, the Git repo and pushed everything to, to GitHub. Um, so if you haven't cloned the repo yet, go to uh, this URL. I will also put it in the description below. And yeah, get involved. Help, help to create some outstanding cross-platform application. Um, in this video, we will take care about uh, having a basic API. So it's um, we will um, do the, the setup for our RESTify API and um, yeah, provide some simple uh, or a simple route to get um, to get some fake nodes that we can use to you know build up some basic UI in the second video. Okay, so let's get started. Um, right within our uh, repository is still nothing, so let's add a, a source directory and uh, we will have various sources like the app and the API and maybe something else, which um, I don't think about right now. Um, but um, yeah, let's let's create the, the API folder. So um, API and go to the API folder and let's say npm init and dash dash y to um, you know, have the default responses for the for the npm wizard, and let's install Restify and Restify Router. So that can take a while. And in the meantime, I will so I will explain the module. So Restify, I think that should be clear. That's the main API uh, framework that we use uh, for creating or building uh, our RESTful API. Um, Restify Router is a third party in module that's uh, responsible for, you know, providing a, an easy way to, to define some routes. So as you can see, it's a dedicated uh, module that we can require. It exposes a router, uh, router type, and uh, having this type, we could create a new instance of, and on this instance, we can create easily create um, new routes. Um, and then later on, we apply those routes to the server. And as you can see, there are plenty uh, of different, you can use different, uh, have different or multiple instances that were all applied to the same server, so that makes it a little bit easier to you know create some kind of namespaces for your your APIs like those prefixes that, that you see over here. Um, so for example, uh, this admin rule will have a settings endpoint and a controls endpoint, and um, it's requesting uh, the router class again. And this one are the handlers for the for the given endpoints. And at some point, it says router instance is a get endpoint named settings, which will respond with the function settings. And later on, it applies the routes and apply them to um, a subfolder. And it will exactly be the way how we create our routes right now. If the installation is finished, let's double check that. Yeah, it's finished. Um, there's one additional module I would like to install. It's a Nodemon, and we use Nodemon to have continuous get continuously get feedback about our um, yeah our current work, our current state of work. Um, so let's install Nodemon npm e nodemon dash dash save dev. Yeah, that's right. And if you haven't seen Nodemon, Nodemon, you should definitely uh, go and check out Nodemon. It's it's really really cool for uh, for development time. For production time, we will add something called PM2, which allows us to uh, spin up um, our API multiple times, and each time uh, per so we will spin up one instance per process or per processor so we could yeah have some kind of local load balancing um, which is uh, and it offers a lot of things that you need uh, 
if you if you take your node application to production or in production level but for development time as i said node mon is is, is fine okay so let's start up our ide and let's um yeah add some basic stuff first of all we will uh, fix the package json by providing a short description it's uh, the the api for our nodes app we say we are using server.js and we want to have a start script which is nodemon so which executes our um our server.js okay so let's add a server.js and let's say const restify equals require restify and we will use a port to expose our api and um, there are plenty there are many different options so you can either look at a configuration file or um, define it on your own what i often do is uh, just uh, rely on the surrounding environment like for example if you host your application in um, win or microsoft azure um, then Azure is providing the port on process on an environment variable process and which is called port and if this variable is not defined so if the uh, surrounding environment is not providing any port we would like to uh, fall back to a default port in our case 3000 okay um, last but not least we will create a server which is equals to restify create server. The create server method is really the um, yeah the, the starting point for building APIs using restify. So create server can you configure how your server will act like the name it has, like uh, the verbosity for logging stuff like that, and you can also specify uh, HTTPS and provide the certificates that you use to uh, ensure that you have a secured the transport layer and have the same HTTPS certificate uh, spread across all different APIs and stuff like that. So, but for now, let's uh, go with the name and say that's our uh, Nodes app API, or let's say Nodes API. And let's say server will listen on port, port, and as soon as the server is uh, is started, we would like to you know put out a a short message like console info server is running on port port okay that should be fine so if we move on to our to our uh, terminal again and just start our or execute our npm start script we should see servers running on port 3000. Great. So let's add some routes. First of all, let's um, add a new folder. Let's call it routes. And let's add a folder, call it uh, controllers. So routes will be uh, responsible for wiring up uh, the routes from the server with the controller logic. Um, that we define in our node controller. So we have node routes. Oops, extension is missing. Node routes.js. And let's expose a function. Let's say register routes equals to a function, and the function gets an um, gets our server and the controller. And let's export that function. Let's uh, require or load our Resti Restify router module. So const uh, router equals require Restify dash router, which is exposing the router class as a property. Say router equals new router 
and at some point we say router dot apply routes to our server in the subfolder API slash nodes. And we will have router dot get if someone requests the API slash nodes URL, we want to respond request response next with something from our controller. Well, with, uh, we want to send back uh, 200 with controller, let's say result. Let's say let result equals to controller get all if not result or let's say result and if there is no result no but that's actually fine if they uh, That's fine. If the result is an empty array, we'll just return. Uh, hey, here, here's uh, the result, but there are no, uh, there are no nodes, and we will add another one. Let's say router dot get. If someone asks for something with a parameter, so uh, you can use colon to specify a parameter. Request response next. We will respond with. Plus let id plus request params id. By specifying that plus, we can ensure that the string, because it's uh, coming, from, it will be extracted from the URL, which is a string, uh, it will be converted to an integer. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so let's look for the node equals controller dot get by ID and let's provide the ID and let's say if there is a node we want to send a 200 with the node if not we want to send a 404 with nothing okay great so it's time to take care about our controller add file node controller let's say we have a class node controller uh, we have a const constructor and in our constructor we will set this dot in memo Restorage equals to ID one node one node two node three. Oh, oops, and we have a method called get all. And we have method get by ID, which takes our ID. And let's implement this first. Return this dot in memory storage and let result equal this dot in memory storage filter node node dot ID three time equals ID. Oops. And we will return if the result is true. If the result is truthy, we will return result and at index zero, or we will return not. Okay, looks cool. So let's wire up everything. Um, but sorry, let's let's export the instance. Mm, let's say node register node 
routes equals require routes node routes and let's call register node routes with the server and require controllers dash node controller okay let's give it a try let's go to our api dash nodes we got three nodes back and let's try our other api endpoint let's say give me id2 that's working give me id3 is working and right now we should get a 404 not found null okay let's provide a better response right here let's say no node found with id done any let's try it again and no node found with id4 hey that's great okay so i think uh, that's a good point for our uh, for taking a short break let's take a look at how our repo looks like well of course it add dash dash dry dry run ah, okay we have to specify the dot mr dot okay that would be added that's cool get at everything get commit that i'm um, implemented mm, api our first draft for API. But just having committed the stuff, I remember that we're missing something because we will call into our API from a single page application. And without explicitly allowing JavaScript clients to call in our API, we will get a, uh, a cross origin exception. So we have to enable cores for our API, but that's really, really simple in Restify because Restify is providing a set or a bunch of middlewares already in the core module. So we can could easily say server.use restify.course. And right now we are enabling course for all endpoints. But keep in mind, you should only enable this with, with all for all endpoints in development time. So dev time only. If you're moving such an API to production, go ahead and configure course in order to specify which methods were allowed from which origins. Okay, so let's um, try if our API should work as we're in the wrong folder, source API npm start. So it's starting and it should still work. You see it's still working, so let's go below and let's say okay, so right now we are two commits ahead. Let's push those to GitHub and let's double check develop is newer than master yes here's our api okay great so in the next video we will start and uh, yeah bootstrap our client application